All right, a couple of years ago, he was voted by a panel of experts the best singer in Australia ever, and nothing much has changed since. Earlier this year, John teamed up with another national treasure, Olivia Newton-John, to tour the nation to sold-out shows, and today sees the release of the CD, Two Strong Hearts Live. I had the pleasure of catching up with the voice, John Farley. We've done this a couple of times We've before over the years. In fact, I, I figure you can hear my questions coming before I even <laughs> ask them. Can I try you with one? Yeah. Um, question seven. Mate, you are a mate. You are a dead giveaway. Was, uh, thank you for asking. Um, it feels pretty good at the moment. I, it was nice to you know, give it a good old airing out yeah. um, with the shows with Olivia. It, well, my voice is feeling pretty strong, but thank yeah. you for asking again. Yeah, it's and again, and again. Ah, we're funny, aren't we? <laughs> you love a collaboration, don't you? Well, yeah, well, it's not all my fault then, see? <laughs> Working with Tom Jones and Stevie Wonder and, and Ray Charles and, and, and all those guys, it, it was, it's been... Oh, man, I can't tell you what it's been. Does it make you, I don't know, go oh, yeah. for it a little oh, bit? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It makes me want to makes me want to do it properly, you know? And, and, and Tom Jones told me he thought me, I was a good singer. It blew <laughs> me away. <laughs> so what he said? You're quite a good singer, though. Because <laughs> <laughs> every night he put his arm around me and we walked down those back steps and he said, no, let's go and have a drink. <laughs> you know, and we, we, would, we would. We would go to a restaurant and uh, eat and then drink brandy and smoke cigars and just tell stories. And one of the best stories, he, he, he told me, oh, we got on really well, he and I, and, and uh, he was in the shower in, in, in Vegas. He'd been working in Vegas and Elvis had come and see the show. And he was in the shower after the show and uh, he is in the, in the bathroom, and there is Elvis sitting on the toilet, but fully clad. Mm. And, uh, and he was singing to him, and, and Tom said, what are you doing? He said, I've just been offered this song, and I, what do you think, should I record it? And Tom was quite serious about it. I said, what song was it? He said, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I wanted to stab him yes. with a fork. It was a glorious experience seeing you and, and Olivia singing together, and hearing your two voices together, it's that's sort of, meant to be that way, aren't they? Generally, it just felt right. And, and, and to be able to share each other's music uh, uh, among ourselves was great fun. We had, we had a bit of a laugh with it all. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm notorious for mucking up the words. Um, and uh, he made her smile. And she's a not. And she's not. No, she doesn't. That's part of the magic of the show, I think, in that you're not just singing your song and then she sings one of hers. I mean, you, you're singing each other's material and working together. And, putting harmonies where there may not necessarily have been harmonies before. Yeah, well, that was just a mistake. That was me, me forgetting, oh, I've got to come in now. But um, no, we, we worked that out. And, and, and it was lovely to, to, to rework some of my stuff. And, and she enjoyed reworking some of hers and, and sharing them. It was great fun. I mean, you know, the stuff from Greece we had a ball with, you know. Uh, you and I, your black leather pants oh, and mate. dancing and stuff. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> and I've got them at home. And I put them on, you know, sometimes. Give yeah. the bride a thrill, but uh, <laughs> it's um, well, you'll kill me for that. There are times in this concert that it sounds like that famous Phil Spector wall of sound with your, your incredible band, and the Dirty Great Orchestra, and five vocalists in there behind you. That must have been an incredible feeling. In, in my in ears, my, my my monitors, I don't get that wonderful stereo explosion that, that you, you actually hear out the front. Mine is very, very, very basic. So uh, it was interesting to me to, um, to when, when, when the album was finished, they sent me a copy. I, I, I listened to it two days ago uh, for the first time. And, uh, oh, jeez. It's pretty it good. sounds great. <laughs> you also had Kelly Abbey in your ear. Oh, yeah, sometimes she'd have to yell at me, John, who's left? And she was great. And, uh, <laughs> and she worked out where we had to be at what time. And so that we were in the correct place at the correct time, which made us look terribly professional. Last time we spoke, you didn't answer. Question 13, mate. Richard, I told you, I never said I was going to retire. I don't ask the question again. Rub it out. Oh, he's a lovely fella, isn't he? Two Strong Hearts Live is out today, and it is a little bit of magic there, Olivia and John. Captured in concert. A two, lot of magic, Dickie. Two strong hearts, two magnificent voices and two lovely people. There you go. We